What's up, y'all? So your girl is back at y'all with another video. Thank y'all to all the new subscribers. Make sure y'all turn y'all post notification bell so y'all don't miss out on no future videos from me, honey. So yeah, we finna just hop on into the message, girl. Let's see what's going on. So today's Bible verse, we have Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. Before you was born, I set you apart and appointed you as my prophet unto the nation here. So I feel like God already knew what you was going to go through in this world. He already knew the chaos, the challenges, and sometimes we fall into a temptation temptation of this world right so i feel like some things in life don't be ashamed about it you know so we had to go through whatever we went through in order for god to call us in order for god to choose us here and in nine days you can't talk about nothing that you ain't been through here so i feel like you're going to be able to help others i feel like your job is to serve in, in any way possible any way you can make a difference i feel like you'll you'll get a lot of blessings out of making a difference in the world with your story. I feel like a lot of people may to relate to you. So, let's see what's going on. I'm here and sing about it, write about it. Really, really start talking about the stuff that you really, really been through. If you do music, I don't know why I'm hearing that. If you do music, start talking about your real pain. Like, let that out here. Yeah, I feel like you'll get a way, a way bigger crowd. I don't know if you talk about your pain. I don't know. So take that how it resonates. It's a boundaries. It's okay to say no. So I feel like it's it, it, we have a boundaries and then we have um, attachment. I release all attachments. So I feel like it could be something attached to you that's really hard for you to say no to here. I feel like somebody could either be crossing your boundaries, like things like self-respect things like that here yeah, i feel like somebody could be really hurting you yeah and they say desire but this is something that you really desire something that you really really wanted wanted or something that you wanted to make work take how it resonate but it's looked like it's hurting you more than it's helping you here so i feel like it's okay to say no and choose yourself first sometimes your desires get you hurt because you you be wanting it so bad yeah, we had a ten of um, swords here. So I feel like something is coming to some type of painful ending here. Can't nothing get no worse than what you've been through with the world card. I feel like somebody is completing out a chapter, just walking away from something, releasing it here. I feel like they could be going to a new energy. Um, this is like something risky for this person, but they're finna just take that leap of faith and just go here. I feel like they see something as like destiny, something like a will of fortune, like good luck here. So I do see there's some type of painful ending that's coming into somebody's life. Somebody could be saying no to something. I'm here, I can't take it no more. I just guess you put on me, see girl, I'm walking out the door. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's what's going on, but it looked like somebody could be standing up for themselves, defending themselves, you know, really, really getting what they got to say out their chest and just moving on here. I feel like somebody is really like, you know, it's it's okay. It's fine. I, I just can't keep going through this. I feel like somebody is really hurt with the death card coming out. It's most definitely an ending, like a completion. It's over with. I feel like somebody that went through some type of transformation here. Somebody is changing. Somebody is not the same that they used to be no more. So I do see something. It's most definitely. Somebody, I feel like somebody is choosing themselves first here in this time. And with your desires, I feel like you just got to know that God will give you whatever you desire in your heart. And like it, it'll be a full completion. You get what I'm saying? Like you don't have to worry, wonder, or or cry. You get what I'm saying? Like if somebody doing something to you or not, questioning. We have clear communication coming out here with reconsider coming out in abundance here. So I feel like, but outside of your past, yes, a perfect timing. In the near future, I feel like there's going to be some type of clear communication that's going to be made here. Some type of conversation could be had about somebody reconsidering 
some type of decision that they made here. I feel like this has got something to do with finances here with the abundance card coming out. I feel like it's going to bring a lot of success here. It's going to bring in a lot of opportunities. That's what I'm hearing. This is going to be something for your future. It say yes, take action here. So whatever opportunity is approaching, God is just telling you to take the action. Walk out on faith and not by sight. Yeah, listen to your intuition here. Somebody could really be reconsidering. Maybe it could have been something that you prayed for, an opportunity. I don't know why I'm here moving out of state. Moving out of state. Some of you guys literally could be moving out of state. Or if y'all was reconsidering, if y'all already moved out of state and you feel like you should never did it, it's the right decision here. Don't never second guess yourself. That's why I'm hearing. Everything, everything happened for a reason. Yeah, remain positive because there's some type of opportunity that's literally knocking at the door. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. The opportunity is literally knocking. So I feel like I could be talking about finances, taking how it resonate. Let's see what the people that want to say about it. Yeah, let's say of high honor. So this could be something that's, that could have royalties attached to it, or it's going to make you high honor. Yeah, it said expectations here. I feel like it's going to come with a lot of expectations. That's probably why you're going to try to second guess this decision. Because there's going to be a lot of things that you have to like, you have to be this certain way to have this position or to have these things. I'm, I don't know. I feel like it's going to change you a lot here. So that's probably why you're going to be, yeah, the death card, the death card is coming out. So it's something most definitely that's going to change you. Wealthy man at the bottom of the deck. I feel like it's something that's going to change you. Maybe into a person that you really didn't think that you could be here, here. To kind of resonate, but I'm, I'm hearing the it girl. Like it's like they're gonna hold you up to some type of of a bar of a skill. Like you gotta you gotta maintain this type of image. That's what I'm hearing. So I feel like it's gonna be something like that. What's gonna have you like? Can I really be this girl? Can I really be this person that people tell me I can be right now? Or I could? Can I really be this? Like really? Like somebody don't see themselves be a uh, beyond what they're doing or up to this expectation as everybody else see, see them but god is telling you to just believe in yourself because you got this yeah i feel like god is telling you to believe in yourself because you got this here it's no secrets held back here so you don't have to be in concern you don't have to be worried i feel like they're going to give a lot of gifts to you okay for your occupation it's gonna be a lot of a lot of things that's gonna be given to you here. So you don't have to like go find it. That's what I'm hearing. Everything is gonna find you. I'm hearing a team here. It could be a team of people that's that's gonna help you. So you don't have to be worried here. I feel like with this clear communication, just say everything, you know, get everything off your chest, like my boundaries, this is what I expect. Okay, and I feel like nobody is is not gonna cross your boundaries here. It's like whatever you make it, people are going to be catering to you. That's what that's exactly what I'm hearing. Like, do you want to eat? What you want to eat? Type energy. I'm literally seeing you in like a white room. I don't know. It's like stylists around you, and a lot of people like trying to give you food. Like, do you want this? Do you want that? Do you like this? Do you like this? So everybody asking you questions on how you want your life to be here. This abundance here is going to change you here. You're going to be like a whole another different type of person. I'm here. You're not going to look like what you've been through here. So just keep going here. So let's see what's going on. It's a yang coming out. So this is like divine feminine energy here. Um, just being a woman, right? Being able to relax, being able to like be catered to. Okay, having people catered to you. That's exactly what I'm. And I'm here sexual healing. <laughs> I'm seeing a bathtub with the roses in it, and you wearing like something red, and it's like see through. If you're a woman, take how it resonate. I feel like it's going to be something like that. Yeah, it's a like treasure island coming out. Something that's romantic here. Somebody might want to take you on a getaway here. You're going to go somewhere where I'm seeing a lot of a lot of water, a lot of trees. 
Palm Beach. There's some here in Palm Beach for some. A lot of water, a lot of trees, a lot of things around here. I feel like you're you're going to be on your own island in, in whatever's going on here. Just treasuring yourself. Some of y'all could be feeling like this energy now just in your head. Like, just loving yourself. Some of y'all could be touching on your own body. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm hearing now. So, yeah, I don't know why I'm feeling a lot. When this feminine energy came out, it's feeling sexual. Somebody know how to please a woman. Somebody really know how to please a woman. Like, Frederick Island, I hit the jackpot. Like, he know how to use his mouth and his dick. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I'm hearing that. I'm so sorry. That's exactly what I'm hearing, though. Somebody, like, really knows how to please a woman. It's not a game. Poor. This is going to be something that's going to be so happy. So, like, oh, my God. Like, I just I just need this. I just I just need it. Like, I'm hearing an obsession. Something's going to be an obsession. Like, I can't, I can't stop. <laughs> Everywhere y'all go, y'all is toxic. Oh my God, let's see. It's like somebody cannot stop doing whatever y'all doing. This sexual stuff, it's going to be an addiction. <laughs> let's see y'all, let's see boom. So we have a page of pinnacles coming out, grounding energy here. So I feel like somebody is needing to balance their energy, needing to calm down here. I feel like somebody could be uh, over over excited. That's what I'm hearing as well too. But I feel like there's some type of new beginning that's coming into somebody's life. It's going to come with a lot of stability as well. I feel like with this new beginning, this could be something that you manifest. I feel like you had to really go within and focus on what you really wanted. To, br to bring it to reality. That's what I'm hearing. Yeah, we have a 10 on um, wands here. Bird is here. I'm feeling stuck energy here. I feel like maybe you, have, maybe you could have been feeling stuck in your manifestations here. Maybe you felt stuck, like, not being able to grow, knowing, like, I got the key. I got the answers. I know what I need to do. I just got to get out of these obstacles. I got to I gotta get around all these challenges and things like that. Maybe things that kept you stuck, kept you down. And you're like, I'm, I'm just tired. I'm ready to go towards my new beginning here. So I do feel like a release here. I'm here early release as well. So I do feel like there's some type of release that's going to go with the page of cups coming out. There's going to be like some new excited beginning that's coming your way. I feel like with this new beginning, this is so unexpected. Some of y'all really didn't see whatever this new beginning coming here. It's like literally going to blindside you. And I feel like with that, with that coming in, it's going to be like fun. Like a new fresh start. That's what I'm here. I'm here freedom. This is like being able to do whatever you want to do here. Just go out and have fun. Yeah, we had a page of wands coming out as well. So this is like just being in that young energy again. Being able to just go with the wind. Not not having no bound. Well, not necessarily boundaries because I feel like you learn boundaries through these burdens. But not being bound and stuck to things no more. You're able to go with the wind. You're able to just, if I want to go, I can go. If I want to do this, I can do this. I can do that. So I do feel like a freedom energy is coming out of this message. So with this um, page of wands, I feel like there's going to be some form of good news when it comes down to a progress, something you've been waiting on here. Yeah, maybe um, it could come through a man here who had to gain control over everything. It might have got the information to, to have it resonate. So let's see what's going on. I'm here free at last, free at last. Thank God almighty free at last. That's for some, okay? Some of y'all could be meeting a younger energy as well. Take it out of resonate, or you guys could be real young. Some of y'all could be finding out that y'all pregnant with all this um, young energy coming out or finding out something about your children. Take it out of resonate. So let's see what's going on with the, um, see what's going on with this. Yeah, I'm washing clothes. I'm so sorry. This is so good. Yeah, I'm washing clothes, so please, and let's see what's going on. So we have, ooh, justice. 
So I could be talking about something going on in the legal system. Take it however it's made. But it's a um soul connection here. So I feel like whatever whatever you've been trying to manifest, whatever you've been focused on trying to bring it in here, I feel like with this justice card, a lot of a lot of things had to happen first. A lot of things had to balance out. I feel like the truth and things like that had to come out. Somebody could have been going through karma as well with what made this situation like stuck, okay? Um, would make it that come in as fast as it should have. I feel like you guys could have some type of soul contract with each other as well here, but somebody had to finish up some things in their past from from when they was younger. That's what I'm hearing from when they was younger. Take it out of the resume. Somebody could have been going through a lot of stuff here, getting karma back. Somebody could have even even been going through things in the legal system and in, in the justice system. And if that's you, I feel like you're going to get some type of beginning, some type of new beginning here that you've been trying to manifest. Tell me more. Yeah, we got a devil card. I say obsession. I feel like somebody could be really obsessed with you here, really um, intrigued with you, trying to figure out th things up. Trying to figure out things about you, trying to get information about you. I feel like somebody could have even been trying to block this new beginning from you here because of this obsession here. Cause because they was yeah. somebody could have felt like somebody could have been working with the devil, take it however it resonate. Yeah, we got the three the nine of cups coming out. And the three of swords coming out. That's something that came in that looked like a wish fulfillment here. Somebody felt emotionally satisfied. I feel like somebody could have been greedy as well with the three of swords coming with that. It was not what it seemed to be here. Mm. I don't know why I'm feeling like some type of obsession though. Stalking, there you go. Somebody could have been stalking you. Like literally stalking you, trying to hold you back. Or somebody could even been trying to make like sacrifices on you trying to keep you stuck with the nine of cups, something like that. I don't know. Telling lies, willing to do any and everything to stop you. This 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 devil card just came out and screamed at me. No, like don't go, don't do that. Take care of the resonate. We got the nine of cups coming out. Something looking like a wish fulfillment. Here something looking like a dream come true, uh, emotionally satisfied here. But the Three of Swords is here. Everything's not what it really seems to be. Somebody could be cheating, somebody, or or it could be some energy too where somebody is heartbroken. Okay, somebody is truly heartbroken, and they could have an obsession with you to where with the Eight of Swords coming out. No, the Eight of Pentacles coming out. I feel like they're gonna they're gonna try to like put in a lot of time, work, and effort into this situation because they don't want you to cheat here, or they don't, or somebody don't. Either they don't want you to cheat, or they don't want you to find out they're cheating. Take it however, however it resonates on whatever side you're in. Okay, this is only for some, but I feel like somebody is putting a lot of time and effort into something. With the Knight of Cups being here, I feel like this person is very romantic. He's a gift giver. I feel like this person want to spoil you. They want to like, you're my little secret. That's how we gonna keep it. Somebody wants you to be that little secret. Tell me more. What's going on with this burden? Somebody could have a obsession with you because you they could dream about you. This could be like a fantasy. Take it however it resonates here. But they they feel like if they get into some type of relationship with you, then it'll it'll break somebody else's heart. Take it however it resonates here. But I feel like this person is still willing to put in time and effort into this connection because they feel like they can handle it. <laughs> They feel like they can satisfy they can satisfy you emotionally. This is somebody who don't want to just let this go let this go but with the burdens card coming out whatever they dealing with is a burden anyways they could be dealing with like a somebody who just watch over them like a hawk that's what i'm feeling like somebody could literally be watching over them here with the word card something is most definitely ending because this somebody this is somebody who was already tired that's what i'm hearing somebody who was already tired so whatever whatever's gonna happen that's how somebody feels it's just gonna happen yeah, somebody really don't care what's going to happen. 
Yeah, we got the hangman. Because somebody is looking at life in a new perspective here. Somebody is willing to sacrifice it, willing to let it go here. To go towards something better. With the magician card, I feel like they could have gathered all their tools, everything that they needed here. This is going to be some type of fresh new start for somebody with the four swords. I feel like they're going to be able to heal in this new beginning. So that's why they are choosing to do it. They really don't even care no more. That's how somebody feels. They're ready to just they're ready to just live again. Feel free, feel young, feel loose. Yeah, we had the temptation here. I mean, um, the temperance, but I said temptation. So something could be a, te a temptation for this person. But I feel like with this temperance card coming out, somebody is like going to a healer, going to somebody who they feel like. All I can say is healing energy, if y'all understand what I'm saying. Somebody who really feel like a real healer. Somebody like sexual healing and things like that. Yeah, we had a um, king of pentacles. This could be a provider or an earth sign here. I feel like this person, wherever he's going to, he planning on staying. He planning on committing to this energy because they don't want to keep going through the same stuff they went through in the past. Yeah, it's like judgment. I feel like somebody is very vulnerable right now going through judgment. I feel like somebody, somebody was going through a lot of like karmic situation here so now they are getting a second chance to live again i feel like somebody is getting is going to get some type of unexpected call that's what i'm hearing with that judgment here yeah with this hermit somebody who's been in hermit mode soul, soul searching somebody who's been alone I feel like somebody been watching you from a distance somebody been watching you on the internet trying to get information about you here so i feel like somebody is making a, a lot of final decision in their life here and they're very they're very vulnerable right now Yeah, we got the King of Cups. I feel like somebody most definitely don't been through a lot emotionally. This is somebody who who has to balance their emotions. Who did or going through take it out of a resonate. Somebody is balancing their emotions. I feel like somebody don't been through a lot, making crazy, chaotic decisions wrong out of feelings and things like that. So somebody is going within, learning like when to give and when not to give and things like that. Yeah, love matter, but sometimes it's like love don't solve everything. So, so let's see what these are. Angel. Yeah, it's a healing family issue. So it could be somebody they had a family with here or something from their past. Maybe their childhood was broken, so they didn't want to break up their family here. So they was trying to work through heartache. They was trying to work through the pain trying to give and things like that. But I feel like somebody was never willing to commit here. That night of cups. Somebody was just in love with the fact of being in love. And when things got serious, they always ran. I feel like with this love yourself first, somebody is really learning to love themselves. Really learning to, to have boundaries and not just let people walk all over them and take control over them. I feel like this is a people pleaser as well. Yeah, it's a um, financial and control. I mean, financial and career. So it could have had something to do with money here. Money don't solve anything here. Yeah, it's a worth the wait coming out. Somebody should should just wait. Divine, um, it's a divine is working in your love life here. I feel like everything will unfold over time. So just stay patient here. The truth gonna always find its way out. So you don't have to go looking for nothing. You don't have to go searching for nothing. Everything is going to come out. Maybe you was dealing with somebody who was in poverty and they was only using you for your money. Yeah, it's a very soon coming out. So it's like clearly decide what you want now. So somebody could be really clearing their head, figuring out what they want in their life here. Yeah, it's like pay attention to the red flags here. So like I said, if you don't been alone for a minute here, pay attention to your red flags. Know that everybody that you have boundaries, they have boundaries here. So if somebody is crossing you the wrong way, don't never be afraid to speak up for yourself here. But trust the process here. Trust everything around you because some things is not, is not what it seems to be. Don't be like... Oh, I don't like that. You feel me? Like, wait till you go home and speak on it. You ain't got to speak on it in public, okay? Because 
because everything might not be what it seems to be, but understand, like, pay attention to the red flags. Didn't say more than sickness here. So some something going on with a pregnancy. I don't know what's going on with that. Something could have happened with a pregnancy. Yeah, it's like wild emotions. That's giving somebody wild emotions here. Somebody is really, really happy because they think someone is pregnant. That's probably why they threw a swords here with that nine of cups and that devil here. Yeah, aggression. Somebody is really angry. Though somebody is really bitter. It's like going viral. Mm. Getting closer. <laughs> So, I don't know what you're doing on the internet, but I just heard going viral, getting closer. It's making you get closer, okay? It's, it's getting you closer to whatever you're doing. Take out if it resonates. But I feel like somebody could be very angry about something that's going on on social media, trying to pull somebody closer to them. So, they're trying to do whatever it takes to keep this energy. And I feel like that's why that devil card is coming out. Somebody is feeding somebody a lot or some type of illusion that it's a wish fulfillment going on. Like, somebody could be... Pregnant, but the three of swords is here. So some, this is a heartbreak. A heartbreaking. Um, somebody is not telling the whole truth here. Either somebody is not pregnant for real, or somebody is just, or, or it's not this person, baby. Take it out of the resonate. But I, I feel like somebody is not pregnant though. And then I feel like with the eight of pentacles, is making someone else work hard trying to fix something with the knight of cups, but it is not doing nothing but creating burdens on that person here. So I feel like with this world card, something most definitely did come to a whole end in here. And it gave somebody a fresh start to just go, to just release this energy. That's how I'm feeling here. So that's why that's why somebody is choosing to go towards something new. But the temperance card, they wanted to be completely healed. They didn't want to come in broken. Yeah, because I feel like this person is like a, a, a stable energy. This is somebody who's willing to commit, willing to be married here, willing to do whatever it takes to make their family happy. I feel like this person is a provider as well. So, yeah, I feel like this person is making a lot of final decisions in their life with the Hermit card coming out. I feel like it's going to be this person releasing a lot of things, too. I feel like this person within went within the soul search and realized they don't want to keep being the same way that they used to be. They had to start paying attention to the red flags that was in themselves as well. Because they realized they attracted this energy. Because it's a copycat here. So I feel like whoever this girl is that's that's trying to, that's watching you on the internet, they're literally trying to copy you. Because this person is watching you as well. So what other cards? Oh, let's see. Okay. Yeah, it's a good fortune here. So I feel like with a good fortune card coming out, um, this is going to be something that's going to change your life forever. That's what I'm hearing. This is going to be some type of lucky breakthrough. I feel like everything you touch literally turns to golden. If you put if you put your mind to it, it's going to always come through for you here. There's not going to be nothing that you ask for that you don't get here. So we have um, main female coming in here. With this main female, we have justification and imprisonment. So I feel like something could be going on with a main female, maybe going to jail here, taking out it resonate. And that's probably and that's probably what's changing somebody's life. Somebody could end up going to jail. Yeah, it's like privileged woman. It's bringing some type of privileged woman in to a new life here. I feel like whoever this privileged woman is, she get a, she accomplished a lot on her own. She done made it. We have distant rise. They could be in another state for you. You could go to another state. I feel like um, this been boiling up over time. And we have an official person coming in. Somebody could have been on probation as well. So I got to resonate. Yeah, justification. Something going on with the um, legal system. Everything is going to go into your into your favor. Everything on bound is out. I'm here. Everything happen for a reason as well. Yeah, it's like messages of concern. You could get some type of messages of concern. It's gonna somebody is in despair. Somebody is stressed out about a new partnership here. So they could be changing something around. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, let's see what my little bit gonna say here before we get out of here. I'm gonna start pulling mine first. Stop playing. <laughs> So we have um, number three, keep walking your path ahead is clear. 
um, keep going ahead. It's number 333 actually here. So God is just saying, keep going ahead. Your path ahead is clear. Whatever God is telling you to do, just stay focused. Keep straight. Don't don't bully. Just keep going here. Keep going. Okay. Even if it's even if you feel nervous, this is a confirmation that everything is okay here. We have six six six. Um center wake up call something unexpected could happen into your life here i feel like your life is balancing out it's coming into a center everything that you've been wishing and hoping and praying for is now for the for the work its way out into your life take it how it originate may is coming out so something very significant about may and then we have believe in yourself here and then they say um, unknown addiction, but it came in reverse here. Maybe somebody got some unknown addiction that they they want to release here. They got they they could be addicted to stuff and not telling nobody, but they're they're ready to release it. Maybe that's why it came in reverse. They got to resonate. Yeah, it say your angels are encouraging you to keep doing what you love to do. That could that could be how you're attracting this person. And it came out before. Yeah, so your angels are encouraging you to do what you love to do. Okay, just keep going here. You could be helping more people than you know. You never know who's watching you. That's why I'm here. It's like unblock these haters again. They've been coming out a lot lately. Unblock these haters. Let them see this come up here. It's a lot of people. I feel like people are watching you from a fake page as well here. Yeah, it's a new house. So some of y'all are getting some type of new house soon. It's a fake friends here. People are smiling on your face and talk shit behind your back. So be be aware of the company that you keep here. That's exactly what I'm hearing. Everybody is not your friend. Everybody is not your friend here. It says like somebody reach want to fly you out and get to know you, but you got to come to them here. So somebody could fly you out here want to want to get to know you. It might be a lot of people that try to be your friend after this. So be aware of that. Then we have earth sign coming out. This person could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn, or this person could just bring in a lot of stability in your life. They can have resonate. It's like you will see things in this life that you've never seen before. I just seen somebody on a boat here, on a boat, and you got on like a red bathing suit. Take it out and resonate. Could be in Miami. Let me see what's getting in the corner. Yeah, something very significant about September coming out. Give me a card if it's one. Yeah, it said nine nine closing a karmic cycle. So I feel like you had to finish a lot of things up before you could get this new journey, this new path here. So just keep going, walk out on faith and not by sight. God I got your back here because this most definitely could be a new lover for some. So thank you guys for watching my videos. Make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. The girl is out. Peace.